Hi everyone. Applying for a job at Abercrombie and Fitch. Fifth time. Stay tuned. I got the results back from my Abercrombie and Fitch interview. The survey says. Behold, the sun. Ah! <laughs> Hi, I thought I'd celebrate 4th of July by going to In N Out by getting an In N Out burger. Yeah! <laughs> but yeah. It's like literally a ghost town here. Like, this town is so empty right now, you have no idea. Like, literally. Like, you might have found like four cars driving by. Because <laughs> everyone's like hanging out either downtown Pismo. But they're staying home because they're drinking because it's the 4th of July. Which is why I really love this town. Because like you can always count on people to get drunk at home and leave like all the sober people to have fun on the streets, right? Maybe we'll go to the movies. Yeah. Um, no thank you, but may I get a late too? I'm traveling and I want to take a cold. Yes, please. Happy 4th of July! You can hear it, but you can't see it. It's kind of like love, you know? You can feel it. No, that's the wind, Eric. <laughs> so I'm eating a burger, but it's not McDonald's. It's in and out Yeah, right? I got a three by zero. No salt, no spread, no onion, no tomato, mustard fry, no pickles. Essentially just three patties, mustard, lettuce, and bread. We meet like, we need like a chicken place here. We meet like a chicken place here. <laughs> or not, or like a vegan place here. Like besides the place I used to go to, that I still go to. You know? Well, I kind of go there. I kind of don't. I have an allergic reaction to cashews, so I can't eat there anymore. Pardon me, Mercury Retrograde. What I meant to say was, I have an allergic... I have an allergic? I had an allergic reaction, for I am allergic to cashews. I think it's cashews. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's cashews. You know what I'm trying to say? Whatever. To you. Nah. Nah. Mm. All right. Sorry. Hi. For those of you who understand my problem, you might. I probably, I didn't give you the problem yet, so you might not be able to, but. The most challenging part isn't eating the burger. The challenging part is getting over the fact that you're done eating the burger. Like, it's just so sad to me. It's like, just when you get off the ride at Disneyland, you're like, oh, it's over. You know, now I have to finish it and it's over. Wow. I literally wolfed down that burger in less than five minutes. Wow. <sighs> I should be like, moo. <laughs> Because I just ate so much meat, you know? Sorry. Whatever to what? Why are you apologizing? Oh no, Eric, I'm sorry. Hashtag conversations with myself. Floss. Always keep it in your center console, people, or in your glove compartment. Or your glove box. Hi. Okay, so we got a Starbucks. We got ourselves an iced chai latte. Eight pumps, almond milk, shaken, not just poured, okay? And I got my mom an iced coffee with seven pumps of classic and a shot of decaf. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. Okay. So we have to go now. I want to chat with you more. I realized that I have to get on with my life like earlier in the daytime and be more accomplished with my life. I can't keep binge watching The Real Housewives of Potomac anymore. Okay, Eric. Hello. Ah! Focus on creating your own franchise. Okay. The Real House Gay of Eric. Gay like, hello. Really? I think we should start one called The Real Gays of Pismo Beach, starring Eric Kahila. And if you want to be my friend and you want to be on the show, we can put you on there too. Right? That's how it works, people. Okay. Like Rihanna said, shut up and drive, drive, drive. Shut up and drive, drive, drive. Yeah. Okay. I shall see you later, alligator. Because chances are, okay, chances are that if we do do this together, we might end up, oh, I'll take it off the trouble. We might end up, I just don't, I just don't want you to fall. That happens because you're on the window of the door. Okay, this is Huston Street, but they call it Huston. It's a hussy. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I got the results back from my Abercrombie and Fitch interview. The survey says, Ugh, can I just tell you? Fifth time interviewing. I'm pretty sure it's the fifth. The fourth or fifth time, but I'm pretty sure it's the fifth time. And they still said no. 
and when I called them to find out why, I even went as far as to mention that I modeled, and they kindly told me that they no longer hire on looks anymore. Is that why you don't want to hire me anymore? Because you don't hire on looks anymore? Ugh, clearly. Okay. Secondly, multilingual, okay, management capacity, college graduate, in retail experience, okay, from like a hot topic to gap, and yet you still won't want to hire me. Now, you either find me a threat, and the reason that's why the reason you probably wouldn't hire me is because you find me a threat, or because you don't hire on looks anymore, I'd probably be like a conflict of interest into your store because obviously, right, if you don't hire on looks but you would hire me, that would pretty much change what you're doing with your brand, right? Because you don't want people who are, you know, aesthetically pleasing to represent your brand. Who are you people? Ah! You know what? I don't want to work for you anyway. I'm just going to wait till I'm a superstar celebrity and you're going to be knocking on my door and be like, you know what? Would you represent our brand? And I'll be like, remember 2002, 2004, 2007, 2012, 2014, and 2019. So, you know what? I'm over you. You don't deserve me, okay? You can keep your lovely rejection email, okay? Ugh, I'd burn it, but I'm not gonna waste the time in, like, printing it out. I'm just gonna delete it, but you can all read it here. Yeah. But by the way, your clothing is faulty anyway, okay? No wonder you're going out of business. <laughs> Duh! Ugh. I'm just saying, okay? That's why I'm telling you, because nobody else will. Duh. For everything else, Go work at, like, The Gap or American Eagle. You know, I should probably try working at, like, Louis Vuitton. We don't have those stores here, people. Ugh. Can we please, like, open up a Prada here? Like, I'd be more than happy to be your, you know, your brand ambassador. Because that's what we call you here. The high-end boutique retail. Right? Whatever. So, yeah. That's all I have to say for you about that. And, you know, truthfully, though, no, I'm not, that's not all I have to say. Let me tell you something, okay? I really wanted to work for you, Abercrombie, okay? And let me tell you why. I liked the smell of your cologne. I still do, though. I still like the smell of your cologne. So I might just buy your cologne online, okay? Um, and I also like your clothes, okay? Like, forget about the fact that your clothes and your store represent, like, a college orgy, okay? Because it's pretty much what it looks like when you go to one. Like, that's what everybody wears. I'm just speaking from my college experience. Duh, hello! Ah, insert luck, okay? And I realized that I, I really have a passion for wanting to work retail. I should work for a brand and a company that actually takes pride in their employees and takes pride in hiring people who are competent enough to know when there is competent people that are willing to raise the revenue and increase the clientele by wanting to join your company. And you clearly didn't, so poo poo to you. Actually, you know what, whatever. I'm not gonna waste the energy. I'm just gonna enjoy my energy by sharing it with you. Like, one thing I will tell you is I don't mind wasting my money, okay? Shout out to you, Riley, homegirl here. She totally told me this and totally resonated with me, and I'm sharing this with you too. I don't mind wasting my money because I can always get it back, but my time, hello, I'm not wasting my time working for you or looking for working for you, Abercrombie and Fitch. Over you, bye, done. Ah, over it, over and out. This is Erica Hila telling you don't work at Abercrombie and Fitch, ever. Telling myself to not ever. This is me telling my future self, Eric, don't ever try to work for Abercrombie again, okay? Last time. Done. Have a beautiful, magical day. Mwah. Yeah. Back to you, Eric, in the other clip.